Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor Luna. Ticker symbol L-U-N-R, intuitive machines. You remember we covered it live? Wasn't that great? Landing on the surface of the moon. Oops, it fell over. But we've got some news for you. Breaking news only just in. Just in breaking news. If we look at the stock over the last week, it's up by 15%. If we look over the last month, though, it's down 35%. But we are getting a, a bottom has been formed. It does look like that. And we're now getting a rise. What's the good news? I can hear you shouting from the other side of the TV screen. What is the good news? I'm not going to tell you. This was a clickbait video. There's no good news. Hang on. I'm lying. I'm joking. There is. All right. Some of you will go, that's it. I'm done with this channel. He always does clickbait. I don't like it. Click subscribe, ring the bell, tap the like button, and then it will open up a brand new segment of the video, which you will only see if you click the like button. Have you done it? Are, you, are we going to make some money together? Yes, we always make money. Look at my portfolio, constantly setting all-time highs. So let's give you the news, because you want to know, you know, you come here for this, right? You didn't come here for me to talk about stuff. You, you came here to talk about Luna. Well, here's the news. Without further ado, I've messed you around now for 30 seconds. Here's the news. Intuitive machines on firmer footing after Luna landing. This is just out, March 22nd. Today, a minute ago, five minutes ago. Remember all of this? It landed and fell over and all the rest of it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We don't mind when rockets land and fall over. We don't mind that. It's fine. Let me, <laughs> let me bring you the news, though. Uh, Intuitive Machine says it's on firmer financial ground after first lunar landing as the company worked on its next mission and pursues other contracts. That was a big question. Can it make money? It's all very well landing on the moon, even if it did fall over. Landing on the moon. But how do we make money from this? Well, as investors, you know, we want to be part of history, but we more importantly want to make money for our pensions and our wives and our little cats that we have to feed 50 years from now, right? Well, the Houston-based company reported on March the 21st, yesterday, an operating loss of 56.2 million in 2023 and on and on and on 75.5 million. The revenue was slightly lower and the 85.9 million the company reported in 22 when it had an operating loss of 5.5 million. The company ended the year with a cash balance of just 4.5 million. And that isn't much money, is it? That isn't much money, is it, to put a rocket on the moon? It isn't. It isn't. I might have more than that, just saying. No, I don't. I will have, though. Anyway, but that grew to 54.6 million by March the 1st. Okay, Steve Ontor, acting chief executive, uh, chief financial officer, said on an earnings call, the increase came from the, ex uh, the exercise of stock warrants by an unnamed institutional investor and strategic investments. We are confident that the cash balance carries us through the year. That's, uh, that's with no additional wins. Steve Ultimus, chief executive uh, of uh, Intuitive Machines, said on the call, the company had argued, uh, the company, he argued, is in, a, in a, is in a fantastic position to win additional contracts. Several could come as soon as the second quarter, such as, the, uh, such as a new task order from NASA's commercial lunar payload services program. That the agency's near space network services program for uh, uh, KISS Lunar communication services and the lunar <coughs> terrain vehicle LTV program. NASA announced on March the 19th that it will select the company or companies to participate in the LTV program April the 3rd, just a week or so away. Intuitive Machines submitted a proposal competing against several established and entrepreneurial companies offering a rover delivered to the moon on the company's Nova D lander. Ultimus, uh, Ultimus said that, that while LTV has a total value of more than $4 billion, the initial contracts to be announced next month will be feasibly studied or feasibility studies valued at about, at about $30 million each, uh, uh, million each over one year. 
Intuitive Machines is leading a team that includes AVL, Boeing, Michelin, Northrop Group, Grumman. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, it's at Grumman, yes. The company is starting to generate revenue from the OMES 111 Engineering, OMS 3 Engineering Support Contract from NASA it won last year. The company recognized $12.5 million in revenue from one month of work on that contract last year. And Vontour said that amount should be average monthly revenue that contract generates for the next year. The contract is part of efforts by Intuitive Machines to diversify its business beyond lunar landers, but also carries some risk of its own. That uh, contract includes support for NASA's on-orbit servicing, assembly and manufacturing, OSAM, one mission at the Goddard Space Flight Center, a satellite servicing mission that has suffered significant delays at cost and cost overruns. We're working very much closely with NASA to put that project back in the box and get it launched. Put it in the box. Yeah, Gavin and Stacey. What's in the box? You got to have some fun with it, right? Altima said, nothing that OSAM. <laughs> it was a good episode. I enjoyed it. I was, fu I was fully funded. Uh, I was fully funded in the final fiscal year, 2024, spending bill passed earlier this month. I tell you what, I might give a prize. Put in the comments below what was in the box. What's in the box? Gavin and Stacey, comment below what was in the box. I might give a prize. I might not. He did not mention, though, that NASA announced March 1 its intent to cancel OSAM 1, winding down work by the end of the current fiscal year. NASA included only $11 million for OSAM 1 in its fiscal year 2025 budget proposal March 11th to cover final closeout of the project. Okay, I think that'll do for the moment. Uh, Lunar Lander updates, just very quickly. Uh, Ultimus said the company is continuing to review data from its IM1. Remember that? It landed, fell over. We were there live. It was great, though. Uh, lander mission, which touched down on the moon February the 22nd. We know. We were there. And despite tilting on its side, yeah, yeah, still return data. I like how they put tilted tilting on its side. It fell over. All right. Say as it is from its, <laughs> from most of its payloads. NASA and the company declared the mission an unqualified success as the mission wound down. Ultimus said Intuitive Machines currently expects to get 95% of the award payments under its CLPS task order for the landing. That's good. Not going to get all of it, right? It fell over, holding back 5% because one payload did not return data. It's fair enough. It's fair enough. He said the company is still talking with NASA about alternative data it could provide to meet the payload's requirement and earn the remaining 5%. That would be good. We'd like to see that, right? Anyway, Intuitive Machines, thank you very much for my team for sending that in. Really important. Uh, Intuitive Machines is up today, uh, looking nice. Where's it going to go from here? Leave me your comments below. What was in the box? Gavin and Stacey, what's in the box? Gavin was, uh, Stacey was getting on a train and I want you to put in the, in the comments what was in the box. I might give a prize, but I might not. There you go. Click above my head for all the links down below over here, all the links plus the extra channel. Don't forget to look below for the video that tells you why you should be a member and all the perks that you may be missing that you are a member that you want to find out about. Make sense? Go and watch the whole of that videos. It's below in the uh, description or on the homepage of the channel. Over here, more videos and stuff like that all around Luna. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.